again, everyone. Good to see you. Welcome back to Conversational English, Book One, as we continue today with Unit Five, Lesson 14, called I'd Like to Share Something with You. In today's lesson, we're going to have the father, Edward, teaching his daughter how to do a really useful, I think very important, house chore called ironing. 好，那么各位同学，我们今天的这个课程呢，要来教大家的是做家事很多很实用的这个呃英文的单字。同时呢，今天这个女儿 Becky 呢，她其实要来做的其中的这个家事，这个各位呢以后应该也会常用到的，就是来烫衣服。Whether you like ironing or not, you might find it useful to talk about. So why not take a look with us at our dialogue for the first time today? Becky, come join me in my bedroom. What is it, Dad? Come over here. I want to share something with you. What is it? It's something that you don't learn in school, but I think is very important. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What is it? It's this. What you're looking at is an ironing board, an iron, a water bottle, and a sprinkle bottle. One of the keys to success is looking neat, and that fresh, uh, just ironed look can only help make you give a good impression to others. So when I start my career, I should send my clothes to be ironed. <laughs> Are you kidding? That will cost a lot of money on a beginner's salary. Why not do it yourself? Ironing is pretty simple. It just takes patience. It does seem boring, but I'll give it a try. That's the spirit. Now,、uh, pay attention. I'm going to use one of my shirts as an example. There's not only one way to iron an article of clothing. I'm passing my way on to you. Wow, a family tradition. <laughs> Where do I start?、Uh, just as I've done, put all your equipment here on the board. You're right-handed, so keep the tapered end of the board on your left. Why is that? You'll find out in a moment. Make sure you have enough water in the iron before you start. The steam helps make the fabric easy to iron. Also, make sure your iron is adjusted to the correct fabric. Well, we'll start with the shirt. That's a cotton shirt, right? Very clever. I've already adjusted the iron to cotton. Shake the shirt to remove any dust. Then sprinkle just a bit of water on it. Place the collar in front of you. I start with the collar first because it's the firmest part of the shirt. Iron both sides, and now you're ready for the sleeves. Looks easy. It really is. Find the seam of the sleeve. Straighten it out. Ironing both sides. Both sleeves. Then I do the shoulders. This is where it's convenient to have the tapered end of the board to your left. Iron 
both sides of the shoulder. And then we're ready for the front. I think I get it. When ironing the front, be sure to iron carefully around the buttons, like this. Now we're ready for the back, the largest but the easiest part, like this. I want to try it. I thought you might say something like that, so I've prepared a few items for you to practice. A few? That's the whole hamper. Practice makes perfect. Wow. Well, that's a long and full dialogue, so why don't we uh, take a break before we come back for part three, words and phrases. Okay, we're ready now for part three, words and phrases, a lot of vocabulary, Please listen carefully. Ironing. Ironing. Mom does the ironing on the weekends, so we have our clothes ready for the week. 妈妈都在周末烫衣服，这样子在下一个礼拜我们就有烫好的衣服可以穿了。Keep someone in suspense. Keep someone in suspense. 卖关子吊胃口。Horror movies are exciting because they often keep us in suspense. 恐怖片都很刺激，因为呢，它常常会吊观众的胃口。Ironing board, ironing board. 烫衣板。An ironing board has a covering made of material or plastic to keep the clothing steady for ironing. 烫衣板上会有一片金属或塑胶制的板子来固定代孕的衣物。Iron, iron. 运斗。Don't touch that hot iron, or you could get burned. 不要碰那个热运斗，不然你会烫伤哦。Key, key. The key to a good friendship is the ability to listen to others. Neat. Neat. Samantha likes to keep her room neat all the time, so she doesn't have to spend a lot of time cleaning it. Impression, impression. 印象. It's important to dress neatly at an interview to make a good impression on the interviewer. 穿着整齐让面试官对你留下好的印象是很重要的。Salary, salary. 薪水. Dad never discusses his salary with the family. How much money he makes is a big secret. 爸从来不跟家人讨论他的薪水。他赚了多少钱呢？是个大秘密. Patience, patience. 耐心. Without patience, we will waste a lot of time doing things too quickly. Therefore, 
That's the spirit. That's the spirit. 精神可嘉 Our team is behind, but if we work a little harder, I think we can still win the game. That's the spirit. Believe in yourselves, and you can do it. 我们这队虽然现在落后，但只要再努力一点，我想我们还是可以赢得比赛的。嗯，精神可嘉，你相信自己，一定做得到。A family tradition. A family tradition. 家庭传统。One of our family traditions is for our family to decorate the Christmas tree together. 我们家其中的一个传统是全家一起装饰圣诞树。Right-handed, right-handed. 右撇子。Most people are right-handed. Some are left-handed, and a few can use either hand equally well. 世界上大部分的人是右撇子，有些呢则是左撇子，还有少数人可以双手并用。Tapered, tapered. 尖的。After exercising for half a year, Brenda began to show a tapered waist for her effort. 经过半年努力的运动，布兰达开始有了渐渐尖的腰部曲线。Steam, steam. 蒸汽 When you see steam coming up from the kettle on the stove, you know the water in it will soon be ready to use. 当蒸汽从炉子上的水壶冒出来时，你就知道水快要煮沸，可以用了。Adjust, adjust. 调整。If it's too warm in here for you, you can adjust the air conditioner to make it cooler. 如果你觉得太热的话，可以调整空调的温度哦。Shake, shake. 挥动，抖动。Before hanging up washed clothing, it's a good idea to shake each article of clothing so it won't wrinkle. 在晾衣服之前呢，最好先把衣服抖一抖，这样就不会皱皱的。Collar, collar. 衣领。Ben slowly learned how to tie a tie around his shirt collars. Ben 慢慢的在学着如何在衬衫的领口系上领带。Here you can notice. Tie a tie.、Uh, the first one, of course, is a verb, and the second one is the noun. So, here's my tie. Tie a tie、uh, under your collar. 嗯，好。所以呢，这个地方呢，例句里头的第一个 tie 呢，它是动词，就是打领带。那么第二个 tie 呢，它指的就是领带。那么 tie a tie 用三个字呢，把两个词性都用进去，是一个很好记的一个重点。Right. Let's continue. Firm. Firm. 坚硬。Mike's muscles are really firm. Because he lifts weights and practices boxing, Mike's 的肌肉十分坚硬，因为呢，他有在练举重和打拳击。Sleeve, sleeve, 袖子。In winter, we wear shirts with long sleeves. In summer, we wear shirts with short sleeves. 我们在冬天的时候呢，穿长袖；夏天的时候则穿短袖。Seam, seam. 缝线。The seam is where the tailor joins the different parts of a shirt or pants. 缝线呢，是裁缝把一件衬衫或长裤的各块布料缝在一起的地方。Straighten out. Straighten out. 摊平 
The architect straightened out the blueprints on a table so everyone could see them more easily. 建筑师把蓝图摊平在桌上，让大家可以清楚的看见。There is a feature of English phonetics, that is the sound of the language, which is confusing to many students, and、mm. I'm not surprised it is confusing. If you just listen to our verb here, we spell it G H T E N. So many students expect straighten,、uh, and maybe it should be, but it isn't. It's straighten. This sound we find in words like little. Bottle. It's not bottle, little, or straighten, straighten, little, bottle. All right. 所以呢，这边是提醒各位同学，就是像这个 straighten 这个单字呢，它虽然有一个 t 在 e n 的前面，可是这个 t 它几乎是 silent 哦，它并没有出现。那么，所以像刚刚呢，布鲁斯老师还举了另外两个例子，像这个小的是 little， 好，或者像瓶子。Bottle. All right. 所以呢，这些字的 t 它几乎都是听不到的。那么在发音的时候，各位同学可以多注意一点。Okay. Right. Let's continue with shoulder. Shoulder. 肩膀 When Bill climbed the rope in gym class, he hurt his shoulders. Bill 在体育课爬绳子的时候，伤到肩膀了。Button, button. 纽扣 Judy chose pretty little pink buttons to sew onto her self-made blouse. Judy 选择在她自己缝的衬衫上缝上漂亮的粉红小纽扣 Okay, this word is a perfect example. Perfect example. Good timing. We don't say button, button, but a little button. Okay, so here, 这边刚好就是一个非常好的例子。同学，赶快把它标下来。Okay. Now let's look at our last item. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. 熟能生巧 I can't play the guitar. I'm really bad at it. You have to be patient, Tim. Remember, practice makes perfect. 我不会弹吉他，我超烂的。你要有耐心，提姆。记住，熟能生巧。And there's something I'd like to say about this particular saying. It's actually not right, and it doesn't matter. Practice makes perfect is a way to encourage people to try hard, especially when, like Tim, they they don't feel very good about themselves. When it comes to language, nobody is perfect. Certainly not me, and I don't know anyone else who is. But we can always improve, can't we? We can get better if we work harder. That's the real meaning of practice makes perfect. 嗯，那么这里呢，布鲁斯老师讲说，其实呢，这个熟能生巧在英文里面就是说，你一直练习，它就能够完美。可是其实呢，很少有人可以真的完美的。所以这个熟能生巧比较重要的，其实在鼓励人家哦，因为我们虽然没办法完美，可是我们可以一直改善，越来越好，越来越好，越来越好。这件事情才是这个片语它真正的一个意思。嗯、mm.。All right, then we're finished with all those words and phrases. Why not take a break? 我们休息一下，马上回来。All right, we have part four, which is just a reminder that this week, let me see here, is in the workbook. We are mailing you、uh, a lot of extra vocabulary items about clothing. You might think. Well, you've given us so many already. Are there more? And I would ask you: Are you kidding? There are all kinds of different types of clothing and parts of clothing. Today we had collar, we had button, and so there there are plenty of things, sleeves to talk about. So please look at your workbook this week. 
。嗯，那么在这个礼拜的练习部，同学们可以呢好好的来看一下，有更多更多跟衣服，还有衣服很多部分啊、哦，像衣领啦，还有像这个纽扣啦、袖子等等这些地方的更多单字都在我们练习部里面，所以同学千万不要错过。嗯。All right, now let's go to our quiz. Our quiz, of course, is five statements, and you decide if they're true or false. And if they're false, you have to rewrite the statement to make it true. 好，我们今天的是非题呢，如果答案是 true， 那就很轻松了。但如果答案是 false， 我们就要跟 Bruce 老师一起来 rewrite， 把这个句子重写，把它写成正确的。OK？ Right. Let's take a look at our first sentence. It is an ironing board is tapered at both ends. Tapered comes to a point. 尖尖。尖尖的。Mm -hmm. So this is false because an ironing board is tapered on only one end. 好，所以第一题呢，只有一边是尖尖的。我们正确的改写是要像这样。Number two, you can adjust an iron to iron different fabrics of clothing. Yes, this is true. You can adjust. You can change the heat of the iron. 好，我们这第二题呢是正确的，就是在熨斗上面，你可以根据不同的布料来调整你要的蒸汽的这个程度。Number three, adding water is not necessary to make an iron produce steam. Well, this is false. Where else would steam come from? So, adding water to an iron to make steam is necessary. Okay. 那么这一题呢，当然是错的，因为呢，没有加水哪来的蒸汽呢？所以我们要正确把它改写成呢，就是这个这个熨斗要加水，这个是对于有有蒸汽要出来呢，是必要的。Number four, the collar of a shirt is the softest part of the clothing. False. Remember, we said the collar was the firmest part of the shirt. So. The collar of a shirt is the firmest part of a shirt. 好，那么第四题又是 false 了。那么错在哪里呢？衣领呢是一件衬衫里面最坚硬的部分，而不是最柔软的。所以呢，很简单，只要把 soft 这个最柔软的改成最坚硬的，这句就对了。And number five, a seam is a design printed onto an article of clothing. Wow, again another false. A seam. Is the part of an article of clothing where material is joined? 好，所以最后这一题也是 false， 错在哪里呢？这个缝线它不会是这个衣服上面啊、哦，就是有一个这个呃印上去的这个呃 design 的地方，而应该是很多不同的布料被全部聚合缝在一起的那个地方。所以正确的答案要这样写。All right, that's it for the quiz. Now I think we're ready to take a look at our dialogue for the second time today. Yes, so we're now going to look at it. Come join me in my bedroom. What is it, Dad? Come over here. I want to share something with you. What is it? It's something that you don't learn in school, but I think is very important. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What is it? It's this. What you're looking at is an ironing board, an iron, a water bottle, and a sprinkle bottle. One of the keys to success is looking neat, and that fresh, uh, just ironed look can only help make you give a good impression to others. So when I start my career, I should send my clothes to be ironed. <laughs> Are you kidding? That will cost a lot of money on a beginner's salary. Why not do it yourself? Ironing is pretty simple. It just takes patience. It does seem boring, but I'll give it a try. 
that's the spirit. Now, uh, pay attention. I'm going to use one of my shirts as an example. There's not only one way to iron an article of clothing. I'm passing my way on to you. Wow, a family tradition. <laughs> Where do I start? Uh, just as I've done, put all your equipment here on the board. You're right-handed, so keep the tapered end of the board on your left. Why is that? You'll find out in a moment. Make sure you have enough water in the iron before you start. The steam helps make the fabric easy to iron. Also make sure your iron is adjusted to the correct fabric. Well, we'll start with a shirt. That's a cotton shirt, right? Very clever. I've already adjusted the iron to cotton. Shake the shirt to remove any dust. Then sprinkle just a bit of water on it. Place the collar in front of you. I start with the collar first because it's the firmest part of the shirt. Iron both sides. And now you're ready for the sleeves. Looks easy. It really is. Find the seam of the sleeve. Straighten it out. Ironing both sides. Both sleeves. Then I do the shoulders. This is where it's convenient to have the tapered end of the board to your left. both sides of the shoulder and then we're ready for the front I think I get it when ironing the front be sure to iron carefully around the buttons like this now we're ready for the back the largest but the easiest part, like this. I want to try it. I thought you might say something like that, so I've prepared a few items for you to practice. A few? That's a whole hamper. Practice makes perfect. Make sure to join us next week to improve your English to make it better along with our help and enjoy learning how to do some cooking in English. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.